something I have been curious about for a long time, how a starter starts an engine. As I was thinking about making this video, I became more curious as to how the entire process happens inside of the starter itself. I know the general idea, but how does the starter gear mesh with the ring gear on the flywheel and what's going on inside of the starter when that happens? I know it's not as simple as just a motor turning. The only way for us to see that is for me to build a see-through starter and that's gonna allow us to see all of the individual processes that happen inside of a typical starter like this when it starts the engine. So this is the engine that I'm gonna be using. The nice thing here is that the entire flywheel starter ring and the starter are nice and in the open. So the first thing I wanna do is take the starter apart and show you what's inside all those components. After that, I'm gonna make the starter see-through, mount it to the engine, bust out the high-speed camera, and see what we see. We'll probably find out how a starter works in slow motion. It's like a bearing. And this is the solenoid. It's literally a solenoid. It just has like a plunger in there. A spring inside of the electromagnet. Looks like this is just a coil. This energizes, creates a magnetic field, and then pulls this piston into the cylinder, just like that. I don't think I've ever taken one of these apart before. Wow, there's like a spiral gear. It's like a fork too. Oh man, hope I could put this back together. Oh, and check that out. That looks pretty cool, actually. There's some permanent magnets on the outside of the casing. A rotor. Oh, yeah, that's part of the rotor. That looks trippy. I also see some planetary gears inside of here. Oh, well, now you're able to see the planetary gears nice and clear. Let me remember where all this stuff goes. Got the rest of the guts out. Wow, that's actually a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. I didn't know all that stuff was in there. Uh-oh, I better not lose these gears. I literally thought that it was just a motor and the solenoid that just pushed like a gear from the motor onto the flywheel. I didn't realize that it had all of these components here. This looks like the little piston that gets pulled by the solenoid when the uh, starter engages. It's like a lever and it pushes that gear forward while the starter engages. I don't know, I guess we'll see. They all popped out. There you go. Ah, that's not bad though. There's the armature and the rotor. Just pop that out. It's quite a magnetic field in there. Wow, that's it. Oh, look at that. That's that's from when they balanced it. That actually looks pretty cool. This, this looks like a miniature Tesla motor. Now let's get started building this starter. First part I'm gonna try to make transparent is this front housing so we can see all of those mechanics inside. I'm gonna draw it up in CAD, model it, I'm going to try to print this out of a clear material on the Form Labs Form 4, one of my favorite 3D printers of all time, and you're about to see why. Check that out, nothing in there. Kinda wanna see that what the switch is doing inside there, but for that, I think I'm gonna have to cut one of these in half. There's like a little push button inside there. That When that piston gets pulled in, it pushes that little button inside of the solenoid, which closes the contact between these two terminals here. Let's get that out of there. That looks much better without that tape in the way. I'm all done with the see-through starter and this came out much, much better than I thought it would. The entire thing is transparent. The bearings fit right. I measured everything pretty well. Now, the true test is gonna be if it actually starts the engine. This looks pretty cool. The way the housing is transparent and you could see the rotor with all the magnets, that was not easy. I'm just gonna give it a quick test run on the table, make sure it works, hopefully nothing blows up. And then after this, I'm gonna mount it on the engine and start the engine and film the entire process in slow motion. It'll be crazy if it actually works. Since the case is not metal anymore, 
the ground for the starter is actually gonna be either one of these screws that's attached to the base of the brushes. The two top brushes are hooked up to the positive side. The two bottom brushes are grounded right to that case. Our ground is gonna be this single screw. All right, I think it's gonna be torquey, let's see. Oh, it wasn't even torquey, it just spun, it's super smooth, that's crazy. A little smoke coming out of there. I kind of smell like some burning plastic. I don't know why, because I don't see anything touching the plastic, but I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe the bearing is spinning right here. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it like that, mount it to the engine, get the high-speed camera on it, and give it a start, see what it does. Now we can see the lever, the starter gear, and the flywheel all together. And I know this is not the most exciting subject, and this might be overkill, but I figure since I'm filming the video anyway, I might as well make the entire thing see-through in case anybody wondered what parts were inside the starter, where they're located, and how they work. So let's start it up. I have a feeling that this entire housing is just gonna crack and break off, but maybe it'll survive, I don't know. We're about to see. I hope that's just my battery's dead. Housing broke. Well, there you go. Why don't I just try to start it like this? I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, it doesn't turn it. getting stuck ah it's jammed up so much for that let me swap this out with the regular starter Nothing too different there from what we already saw in the previous clip. The starter gear sort of just starts spinning a little bit and pushes against the flywheel until it meshes with that ring gear and then starts spinning the flywheel. Next, I wanna try to replicate the situation where you try to start your car but it's already running and you get that grinding sound from the flywheel. Everyone says that'll damage your starter if it happens too many times. I'm curious to see what that looks like. Here we go. I did the best I could to replicate that scenario. Tried to time it just right. I think I got it pretty close. You can definitely see that that gear was getting chewed up when it was trying to re-engage. Wish I could have got a couple of shots of the armature working and all those brushes working, but it is what it is. I tried. It wasn't as crazy as I wanted it to be, but I thought this starter was a perfect subject for the first video of the year that I'm doing after sliding back into YouTube here. So let me know what you think in the comments below. See you in the next video.